Welcome. My name is Erica Banks Alvarez and I'm excited to teach you this Shakti Nam chair yoga class. So Shakti Nam is a type of yoga that not only uses the physical and the breath practice that is familiar in other types of yoga like Hatha and um, uh, uh, Vinyasa, <laughs> but it also uh, connects with a lot of subtle energy work through um, pranayama, uh, through uh, mudras, mantras, all of the music that you hear during this class is designed to be very healing and uplifting and energizing. So I invite you to listen to your body as we go through class, move in the ways that are right for you. I'll try to give you variations, levels to move at, but always move in a way that's right for you. And if something is not right for you to do, feel free to just sit and listen and breathe and watch, stay mindful and present and jump back in when it's appropriate. So to get started, I like to start with rubbing the hands. I do this because it brings energy that subtle energy that I talked about, from the heart down the arms into the hands where it can be used for all good sorts of things. Interlace the fingers as you rub to get energy in between the fingers, to get heat in between the fingers. Get the backs of the hands to wake up the backs of the hands as well. All the while you're taking nice deep breaths in and out. And then fingernails. Rub the fingernails gently, lovingly. And I'm gonna invite you to come back to rubbing the palms together as fast as you can for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the hands here, I call this middle pillar. And I like to bring the middle fingers in just a little bit extra. It helps to ground the energy. If you close your eyes and let your breath be easy and natural, you might notice sensations between your hands or anywhere in your body. We like those sensations, we just notice them. On your next inhale, pull the hands apart. Try to stretch that energy, keep feeling the energy between the hands. Exhale to come back to middle pillar. Inhale to expand, to pull the energy apart. Exhale, return. One more time, inhale, expand. Exhale, return. This time you're gonna bring your hands all the way together into prayer pose or namaste. And I like to rest the thumbs at the base of the throat there on the collarbone. We're going to take three ohms. And this is to ground and center ourselves. So you're sitting center, you're gonna inhale deep. Plexus. We're gonna. I'm gonna chant um, um, a mantra or a song called Triple Mantra, and this is um, a song that brings in a lot of light energy and healing energy. And when you hear the word such, I want you to pull the belly in and the pelvic floor up. You know, squeeze all down here on the word such, and then release it. And this is really good to build up your pelvic floor, your low abs, and it's also good energetically to use that light energy that we're singing in to break up any blockages that you might have, mental blocks, energetic blocks, even physical blocks on some levels. So here we go. Deep breath in. Adgure name, Jugadgure name, Satgure name, Siri Guru Devin name, Ad such you god such a heavy such an anaka OCB such Ad such you god such a heavy such an anaka be such Ad gure name, Jugad gure name. 
सतगुरे नमे श्री गुरुदेव नमे आज सच जुगाद सच हे भी सच नरक हो सी भी सच आज सच जुगाद सच हे बे सच नरक हो सी बे सच लास्ट टाइम आज गुरे नमे जुगाद गुरे नमे सतगुरे नमे श्री गुरुदेव नमे आज सच जुगाद सच हे भी सच नरक हो सी भी सच आज सच जुगाद सच हे बे सच नरक हो सी बे सच डीप ब्रेथ इन होल्ड द ब्रेथ इन स्क्वीज दैट रूट लॉक नाइस एंड टाइट Hold, hold, hold. Reach the hands up, and then. <laughs> you want to shake that energy out. Relax your hands on your lap when you're done. Close your eyes. Again, take a few breaths in and out here. Just listening to your body, to your mind, to your spirit. And then keeping your eyes closed, um, especially right now in this time of COVID and lung capacity, and want to keep our lungs healthy and strong. I like to do a um, a three part breath. This is how to help us strengthen our lungs. Uh, I want you to do your best. What I'm going to do is count uh, to ten. So I'm going to count. It's going to actually be to nine. You're going to hear me say something, and then I'll start again. So you're going to inhale on a ten count. You're going to hold the breath on a 10 count and you're going to exhale on a 10 count. Now, I'm going to count for you, so all you have to do is listen to your body and let your breath try to to join in. If for some reason 10 is not a number that really works for you yet, that's okay. Take catch breaths as you need to. Just jump in and do your best. So your eyes should be closed now. And you're just gonna take a few natural breaths while we get while we get settled. Okay. Slowly inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold the breath in for one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Slowly exhale on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold the breath in. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exhale on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Inhale on one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let your breath just be natural in and out. Check in, listen to your mind, listen to your body. And then take a deep breath in. Put a smile on your face. Open your eyes on your exhale. Okay, we're gonna move the body a little bit in a lot of different directions and again, I'm gonna to try to give you some levels. Listen to your body and do what feels right for you. So I'm gonna start us with a spinal flex. So that's when you round the spine 
and arch the spine. It's like you're, you're making a wave with your spine. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see what my spine is doing, but you can stay facing the, facing the screen. So you're gonna round the spine and arch the spine. And you can do this small at first, and then as your spine gets more flexible, you can, you can go further into it. Don't force this, keep it nice and easy. You're trying, you're tucking the pelvis, you're returning the pelvis. You're bringing the shoulder blades apart and together. You're pulling the belly in, you know, it's just all connected. This is a great full body stretch. The spine is one of is really one of our most important um, structures in our body because everything connects to the brain through the spinal cord. So keeping this area flexible and healthy is really, really important. So smile, listen to your body, use your breath. I like to inhale as I arch, exhale as I round. Inhale and exhale. Just a few more. Oh, this is a good one. Last two. Last one. Nice. Sit up nice and tall. So we got our spine, let's get our neck. So we're gonna bring the hands into prayer pose here at the heart. We're gonna inhale long and tall through the neck. Exhale, turn and look to one side. Inhale to come back center. Exhale, turn and look to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn. Okay, slight change. Inhale, center. Exhale, one ear toward that same shoulder. You're gonna find a side stretch in your neck. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Ear toward the shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Oh, yes. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, the head up nice and tall. Exhale, look up. Stretch the front of the neck. So I'm not just tilting my head back. I'm really stretching it up. Inhale, center. Exhale, stretch down. Stretch the back of the neck. Inhale, center, exhale up. Inhale, center, exhale down. Nice. Inhale, center. We're going to move to the arms here. You're going to inhale, open your arms nice and wide. Exhale, give yourself a hug. <laughs> Notice which arm is on top. On your next inhale, Stretch back and then exhale, bring the other arm on top. Find that hug, you're gonna hold the hug as you inhale, exhale, maybe move around a little bit. We're gonna do that again each side. So inhale, open, exhale, close. And last time, inhale, open, exhale, close. While we're here, we're gonna bring our hands forward. We're gonna inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, wrists up, exhale, wrists down. Inhale up, exhale down. Bring the hands up, bring the thumb on the inside, wrap the fingers around the thumb. This is called Shakti Mudra, or hand seal. We're gonna circle. This is really good for the brain, and of course, it's opening up the wrists. Other direction, just let the breath take care of itself for this one. Then we're gonna, so this was nice wrist, wrist uh, opener. Let's do a shoulder opener, or shoulder girdles. You can have your hands down here by the side and do a little back stroke. If you want a little deeper, you can take the elbow into it. Again, the breath is managing itself. Or if you wanna get really big into it, you can take the whole arm. So do the variation that works for your shoulder mobility. And then go forward, same thing. Forward, you can add the uh, elbow if you want, you can add the arm if you want. Do whatever version works for you. And then come center, oh yes. We're gonna bring our hands forward. We're gonna receive and give. Give and receive. I like to inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, 
and to the side. So exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Put them together. So inhale, exhale, inhale. Bring your hands in front of your solar plexus here. We're going to take our legs wide. So you have a wider stance or external rotation here. We're going to inhale around and exhale to come back, sitting up nice and tall. Now this can stay small and be more of, you know, upper body work and like a stable lower body. Or if you want to go farther, if your lower back and your pelvic floor says that's good, you can inhale, you can lean into this and then exhale, pull yourself back up. Listen to your body, do the variation that works for you. Maybe start small and move bigger. So inhaling as you come forward, exhaling as you come back up. Inhaling, circle forward, exhale, circle back up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Other direction. Inhale, exhale. You can do your own pace, that's fine. Two more. Last one. Nice. So we're gonna do a nice side bend stretch here. We're gonna take the uh, right leg out to your side this feels okay for you. So it's kind of like we're in a, a lunge position, a side lunge. You're gonna bring your right hand up to the side and your left hand can be somewhere on your thigh. You're gonna inhale this right arm up and exhale as you come over. Listen to your body here. You're keeping your belly pulled in. You're keeping your spine nice and tall. You're finding a side bend here or it's almost like a triangle, a little bit of a triangle pose. You're going to reach over. You're keeping that right foot nice and grounded, nice and straight. You're keeping your um, pelvis anchored to the chair and you're reaching that right arm over. I'm leaning my, my left forearm onto my thigh because I'm getting a little deeper into it, but you could be higher up. You can keep your, thigh, your hand there on the thigh. And then on your exhale, come up. Inhale, that right arm down. Nice, let's do that one more time. Inhale, the arm up. Exhale it over. Try to feel that stretch all the way down the right side of your body. And then an exhale, come up. Inhale that right arm down. Let's do the other side, same thing. So bring your legs back to that external rotation. Take the left leg out to the side this time. Now your chair may be a little different. If you need to adjust yourself, please do. Left arm is up this time. Inhale it up high, high, high. Reach, reach, reach. And then exhale to come over. Depending on how far over you are, you may come onto your forearm, maybe you stay up higher, that's fine. You can still feel that stretch from the foot all the way up. And then on your next exhale, pull the belly in, lift the spine up, draw the hand down in your inhale. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale your arm up. Exhale, reach over. And then on your next exhale, so inhale and exhale, come up. Inhale that arm down. Nice. Okay, let's bring the legs in front of us and extend the feet forward. I like to get feet in here every time. So feet are here. We're going to point the feet and flex the feet. Oh, feel that stretch in the back of the legs. Point the feet and flex the feet. Point the feet, flex the feet, hold it here. You're gonna curl the toes, just toes, and stretch the toes. Curl the toes, work those toesies, and stretch the toes. Curl, stretch, last time, curl, and stretch. Now the feet are gonna move in the same direction together. You're gonna circle the feet the same direction together. Woo, let your breath just regulate itself. And then other direction. Okay, yes, we're opening the ankles. We're waking them up. Very nice. 
and then keep the legs straight, the feet are kind of flexed. I'm holding on to my chair. If you're slipping, I would recommend holding onto your chair or um, maybe bringing your feet underneath you. You're gonna get a different stretch if your feet are underneath you, but it's more important to stay firmly in your chair <laughs> than it is to, uh, to have this particular stretch. So if you can firmly stay in this position, you're gonna inhale tall through the spine. Exhale, hinge forward, and you should feel a stretch through the back of the legs and through the lower back. Use your inhale to come up, and your exhale to come forward. Nice. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Inhale up. Last time, exhale forward. Oh, yeah. Inhale up nice and tall. Whew. Bring your feet underneath you. We're going to find a twist, and then we're going to move on to something else. So bring your feet together. Bring your knees together. Your inner thighs are activated. Keep this working, lower body. Keep the upper body nice and tall. You're going to bring your right hand up, and then you're going to take it across to the left thigh. Notice I'm still facing forward. This arm is just coming across my body. I'm gonna take the left hand behind me on the chair. Inhale, get tall through the spine. Keep squeezing those legs together. On the next exhale, turn and look over that left shoulder or as far as you can toward the left. Notice your hips, so they kind of stay mostly facing forward. You're rotating with the upper body. You're rotating with the rib cage. You're breathing, you're smiling, you're lengthening, you're getting taller as you twist. Keep breathing, keep twisting. And then on your next exhale, exhale, come center. Keep squeezing those legs together. Okay, now bring up the, the left hand and bring it across to the right thigh. Take your right arm behind you on the chair. You're still facing forward. You're going to inhale, get tall through that spine. Exhale, turn and look toward the right shoulder. Try to get taller. Keep squeezing the legs together. Keep smiling. Keep lengthening. Oh, yes. Yes. You're continuing to try to get taller as you twist, as you breathe. On your next exhale, you're gonna come back around to center. Woo, very nice, very nice. Bring your legs back to um, hip distance apart. Close your eyes. Take some natural breaths in and out. Notice what you've done. <laughs> Notice how your body feels. It's important to take these moments to check in to get present to where you are because things are constantly changing. Take a deep breath in. Put a smile on your face. Open your eyes on your exhale. Very nice. So we got to move our body around. We did a little bit of breath work earlier and I wanna do a little bit more now Breath is very important. It, it helps in so many levels. It feeds our mind, it feeds our muscles, and our, and our blood needs that oxygen, needs that energy. So we're gonna do two different breath patterns. We're gonna do a breath pattern that helps to activate the upper body, the upper chest, and then we're gonna do a breath pattern that helps to activate the lower body. And um, there's all of our important organs, most of our important organs are in these two air regions, so this is really good. So I'm gonna start us with Rubbing the hands together. We do this a lot. It's good. Get in the habit. It's healthy. <laughs> and we're going to bring the left hand to the um, heart center and the right hand on top. So we're going to be breathing into the chest. I want you to keep your eyes open for this because um, sometimes bringing a lot of air and oxygen into your body can make you lightheaded. And so if you start to feel lightheaded or anything like that, Stop the breath pattern and just breathe normal. Just breathe normal. Ah, but for a few seconds, 
Just a few seconds, we're gonna breathe into our chest. Watch me first and then we'll do it together. So we're gonna go like this. Breathing in and out, really feeling the chest expanding and contracting. This is a massage for the heart and the lungs. It's good stuff, keep those eyes open. Here we go. Inhale deep. Relax the hands to your lap. Let your breath be normal in and out. Keep those eyes open. <laughs> you might feel tingly. You might feel, you might feel lightheaded. Just breathe normal. You are okay. Just breathe normal. Breathe good. And then bring your hands to the side here. We're gonna inhale the energy up. Exhale the energy down. Try to do this all through your nose. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Very nice. So close your eyes, check in. Just see what that did for you. If you're still dizzy, if you're, if you're dizzy, do not close your eyes. Keep them open and keep breathing until you're no longer lightheaded in any way. And then like I said, the next round's gonna be lower. So uh, inhale, put a smile on your face. Exhale, open your eyes. And then we'll, we'll rub the hands. Same pattern to start. Bring the left hand to the solar plexus, right hand on top, or it doesn't matter which hand actually, whichever one feels comfortable to you. You're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna inhale into the belly this time. So it's gonna look like this. Just watch first and then we'll do it together. So we're really uh, letting the belly open up and get full of air down low, okay? So get up, sitting up nice and tall. Here we go. Inhale deep. On your exhale, relax your hands to your lap. Let your breath regulate itself. Just breathe natural. Again, if you feel any weirdness, any, any lightheadedness, <laughs> just breathe normal. Just give yourself some space sometime. Nice. And then bring your hands to the side. We're going to do that sweep. We're going to do it slightly differently this time. So you're going to inhale up. Exhale, mouth down. Inhale up. Exhale, mouth down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Nice. Relax your hands on your lap. Close your eyes this time if you're not lightheaded in any way. And listen with your eyes closed. If you, if you need to keep your eyes open, please do. And just breathe natural. Nice. And then just keep your eyes closed. Keep your breath deep. We're going to go into um, our meditative part. I like to end the class with a brief meditation. And lately we've been doing a meditation on the uh, seven main chakras. Chakra means circle. And when, when people mention or talk about chakras, they're talking about these subtle energy spirals or um, spinning basically wheels of energy that live along our spine. And they're very useful in helping us to connect with certain aspects of ourself, of our being. 
So I invite you to close your eyes and bring your attention, or maybe they're already closed, they should be already closed. Bring your attention down to the base of your spine. Basically, your seat, where you're sitting. Bring your attention there and visualize a red light. A red light just emanating from the base of your spine. So this is called your root chakra. It's also called muladhara. But your root chakra is your connection to your grounding, your connection to your stability, and your security. So we just breathe into that red light, that center of our security and our stability. And then bring your attention up to the sacral chakra, the second chakra, which is two inches below the belly button. It lives in the center of your pelvis. And you can just imagine a beautiful orange light emanating from that region of your body. And this orange energy center is your connection to creativity and pleasure, savoring life. And so just breathe into that sacral chakra. It's also called Svadhisthana. Then bring your, atten your attention up a little bit, two inches above the belly button to your solar plexus. This is your third chakra. It's the color yellow, and it's your connection to confidence, your willpower. They live right here, in your solar plexus. The color yellow, like golden sunlight. So connect to this area of your body. It's also called Manipura. This yellow, confident energy living in your center, breathing into this energy center. Breathing into these energy centers wakes them up, it, it enlivens them, gives them more, more zhuzh, more power. <laughs> okay, bring your attention up to the center of your chest. This is your heart center. It's um, the color green, and it's your connection to love and giving and receiving of love. This is your love center, your heart center. It's also called anahata, and it's just a delicious, just delicious energy center. So close your eyes if they're not closed and breathe into this emerald green loving energy center. And then bring your attention up to the center of your throat. The fifth chakra is your throat chakra. It's also, um, oh, what is it? It's also called Vishuddha. And it's the color blue. It's your connection to your voice, basically, your self-expression, your ability to speak your truth. So you can just close, you can just breathe into this blue throat chakra energy center, connecting with your voice. And then bring your attention up to between your eyebrows. The sixth chakra here is um, the color indigo or dark purple. It's your connection to your intuition and your self-awareness. It's also called Anja uh, Chakra. And you can just connect to it with your breath. And then lastly, but not least, you're gonna bring your attention to your top of your head, the crown chakra. And this last chakra is uh, your connection to highest consciousness, highest wisdom. It's the color violet, and it's just, it's just beautiful. It's called Shahasrara, uh, is its Sanskrit name. And it is just our connection to, to highest intelligence, basically. So you can close your eyes if they're not already closed and just breathe into your crown chakra, taking in that violet light, connecting with your highest wisdom. And now that we've gone through all the chakras, I invite you to as we go into a time of silence, to just breathe in and out naturally 
and keep checking in on all of these chakras and continue to check in on the rest of your being as well. Keeping your eyes closed, you can begin to move your fingers and your toes. Keeping your eyes closed and your breath deep, bring one hand to the center of your chest and the other hand on top. Take a few breaths here just to feel your heartbeat and your chest rising and falling with your breath. And then from this still centered place, I invite you to take in, or if you know it, uh, say along with me the prayer of love, peace, and light. Love before me, love behind me, love at my left, love at my right, love above me, love below me, love in me, Love in my surroundings, love to all, love to the universe. Peace before me, peace behind me, peace at my left, peace at my right, peace above me, peace below me, peace in me, peace in my surroundings. Peace to all, peace to the universe. Light before me, light behind me, light at my left, light at my right, light above me, light below me, light in me, light in my surroundings, light to all, light to the universe. Deep breath in for Om Shanti. Oh Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. The light in me salutes the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this uh, brief uh, yoga, yoga class. And I invite you to join me on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 a.m. for chair yoga um, on a weekly basis. Yay, thanks. Take care.